I recently purchased the new SP445 uh, 4x5 four sheet developing tank. Um, I'm sure many of you are aware of it already. Some of you probably already have purchased one. For those of you who haven't heard about it, it's an excellent tank. Um, it's been, you know, um, it's not it's not often that a new tank for 4x5 film development is designed. You have the Mod 54 um, in the last few years that has come out, and that's a good tank, but I actually think that this one is uh, better overall. It's easier to load, first off. Um, the creator, Tim Gilbert, did a Kickstarter thing uh, a while back where he was uh, starting to design this, and this end design that he's come out with is really sleek, and it's a it's an excellent design. I've developed uh, eight sheets of negatives with it, and they've all turned out flawlessly. I have many other four by five development methods with which to compare it to, and I'm, for what it's worth, I guess I'm putting my stamp or my seal of approval behind this product, and. Um, I think that if um, if you're on the fence about purchasing one, I definitely think you should go ahead and do it. It's uh, it's compact, it's economical in terms of its uh, um, uh, chemical consumption. It only takes 500 milliliters of chemicals to develop four sheets. It would be nice if it was a little bit wider and could accommodate one more set of negatives so that you could do six, but that's a small a small issue there. So. I just wanted to go over it a little bit. I will actually link some videos from the creator um, down in the comments or, or the description area where you can see um, how to load it a little bit more closely and how to utilize it to develop negatives. But I just really wanted to talk about the overall design of it. It's a really nice um, feeling product. It's the, the actual tank itself is very um, sturdy. It's made of a good, good plastic on the outside. The inside, the, the lid here just comes off easily. It just sort of slides off there and it's held in place with a little sort of gasket that adds friction and then is also probably a, a light seal and also a chemical seal there also. Inside you have two, um, two film holders here and each one holds two sheets of film. Uh, one on each side and you just sort of slide it with the emulsion side out underneath these sets of tabs and then do the same on the other side. It sits into a series of tracks. Um, each of these sit into some tracks there that you do. Of course you load this in the dark and they just slide right in and out of there. Um, the design on those tracks is pretty interesting and also how he came up with um, how to create a light baffle and then, so the white baffling is just a series of inserts that slide in and out that have alternating um, slots so that the light won't penetrate, but liquid will. So that's a pretty ingenious design. And then the third insert is also part of the light baffling system, but it has the tracks that the, uh, that the film holders slide into on that side. On this side, the, uh, the place that the film holders slide into, that's fused into the actual body of the tank. So you don't need to remove that. So it's important that when you put in the, uh, the light baffling system that obviously the one that's closest into the center or closest in, in, to the inner side of the chamber is the one with the slots on it for the film holders themselves. Then these two can go in in any order, it doesn't matter. And so they just slide into there simply. <clears throat> and then these will go on, or in, I'm sorry, not on. And then the lid will go on there. <clears throat> and that just, you just push that down, no big deal. And there's, there's two marks on here, or some, some guides that help you in the dark, of course, to locate which way it needs to go on so you're not putting it on in the wrong way. There is a vent side here and the fill drain side here. And so the vent side just lets air escape so you can fill it rather quickly. Um, and it's a really nice, sleek design, as I said. I do have a few issues with it, but they're small issues that 
don't uh, you shouldn't let deter you away from purchasing one of these. The first issue that I have is that the plastic that the inserts and the baffling system are made out of are um, you know they're they're um, easily breakable plastic so you know you could over time easily crack this or break off a piece but um, you can get replacement parts for it so and it, it's not that big of a deal but if um, if taken care you know I I don't see why you should break this and it's good to know that if you do you can buy spare parts for it um, and the same goes for the light baffling systems they're made of the same sort of plastic so I wish that that plastic was made a little out of a, um, a little bit better plastic more durable but in the end it's not enough to dissuade um, it shouldn't be enough to dissuade you from purchasing it now there's a series of grooves on the film holder here that allow um, you, you know make it so that the film the sheet of film does not stick directly to it so it's not you know fused to this piece of plastic there for lack of a better term when you're trying to remove it after it gets wet it slides in really easy when it's dry but I did notice that when this was after you develop your film getting it out of here kind of made me a little nervous because when I started to pull the sheet of film I was worried that it would slide along these um, these grooves here and maybe put scratches on the back side of the negative so I was sort of delicately taking it out of there but it didn't put any scratches on it and so I, I think it's it's good to go in that sense now the final issue that I had with it and again none of these issues inhibited good development but the final issue that I had with it is when you place the lid onto it 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 doesn't make a good seal it doesn't make a good contact the lid doesn't contact well with the body of the developing tank which sort of concerned me because I I'm paranoid there and I didn't want light leak to get inside of there the first time I developed a set of negatives with this I did not um, I just used it like this and it turned out fine but afterward I got a little nervous and so my solution to that problem is just to use uh, simply use pieces of gaffers tape and so I just take the gaffers tape and I push down pretty hard and then <clears throat> tape it around so that that um, the top makes a really nice seal with the body the body of the actual developing tank and that has solved all the problems it would have been nice if it had been designed with a sort of locking system to lock the uh, the lid down tight with the body of the tank but it's you know two pieces of tape take care of it no problem I think that it's wonderful that uh, Mr. Gilbert has designed this and is selling it. It's $87, which, um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, of course, like all things, we'd like them to cost a little bit less, but I think it's well worth, worth the money. Um, <clears throat> I mean, what kind of price can you put on having uh, such a compact, nice developing tank that makes your uh, negatives turn out uh, well? So that's a, a moot point to me, just, you know, Eight, what's eighty seven dollars but anyway what I wanted to say was I don't know if you can purchase this other places besides his website but I'm gonna link his website also and I think it's important that you buy directly from the creator of it you know give give him the credit for all the hard work that he's done but um, you know so if you're on the fence about the SP 445 I definitely recommend it and you know not much more can be said about it. It just develops really nice negatives. It's a really sleek design and I hope you enjoy um, enjoy developing negatives with it if you decide to purchase one.